You know, one thing I really am beginning to, I mean, I knew it, knew this, um, but I'm more passionate about it now, and, and maybe it's because I'm a bishop, and part of what I do is try to pay attention and try to support clergy. Um, Jesus never sent anybody out by themselves. He also said, wherever two or three gather together, there I am in the midst of them. We need Christian community. Again, I'm back to Bonhoeffer's life together. We need each other. And I would encourage all any clergy to find colleague groups, uh, whether it's just small groups of two or three clergy that come together regularly to, to, to live into a shared discipline of prayer and study uh, but, and just be with each other but to do it in a way with some sense of discipline, um, of spiritual discipline. Um, I, I, just, I just think that's, that's vital. Um, the, the Lone Ranger syndrome is death. It, it is dangerous, and it is, it is dangerous. Um, we, we can't do ministry by ourselves. Um, the, the, the Horatio Alger myth was a myth when it came to do with capitalism, and it's certainly a myth when it has to do with faith can't do it. the rugged individual doing it all tough John Wayne doing it. that's hogwash uh, we need to walk together um, and, and we are clergy I think clergy today are a little bit better about that um, at least certainly the younger ones coming out of seminary I'm noticing are have more of a sense of the need for community among us as clergy um, where we pray for each other and um, listen to scripture together um, I think that may be one of the most important things that I'm beginning to see um, and I've known it. I've, I've been in colleague groups for years. I'm in a group of colleague bishop colleagues, and you know, so I'm in. I've been doing that, but I'm seeing how life giving um, and life saving it is through all of the journeys, <laughs> through all of the 